We have cadaver dogs in the area. The, the scene is, seems to have been pretty extensive, and it, it would appear to us that uh, Bet Williams was out here for some time, and because the dogs are clearly alerting to uh, the fact that there was uh, human remains or possibly blood. And nothing here is leading us to believe that she was in fact killed here. So it's entirely possible that part of his story is true, that the death occurs uh, at, their, at his temporary place where he was staying. There was either an absence of blood or he did an incredibly good job cleaning it up. But I, I still think the likelihood is, and my detectives think, that the uh, homicide occurs at their house that he doesn't, that there's no evidence. So it could have been any number of things. It could have been closed head trauma, it could have been strangulation, and then the body is brought out here and the rest uh, occurs out here. Yeah, the, the, the question is, do we have any additional information on how the dismemberment would have occurred? I think it's pretty clear it was probably a chainsaw. And there was nothing else in that container except for her, uh, her partial remains. No liquid? Yeah, the, the uh, container was full of liquid, and we suspect it was some type of acid. Corey's question is, have we found the chainsaw or any other weapons? The answer is no, we have not. Uh, the question is, have we recovered the cell phone and wallet? The answer is no. The question is, will we be able to determine the cause of death based on the state that she's in? If we recover all the body parts, we, we can put it together if we do that. You know, barring that, we may not. You know, death comes to everybody, and sometimes it's unexpected, but in a case like this, in a murder, and then, and then what followed, it's, uh, it's heinous, beyond description, and uh, it does affect my people, and uh, I hope I'm never in this industry so long that it doesn't affect me personally. If he should elect to withdraw his plea, or challenge his sentence and judgment on direct appeal, this case will come back and we will have the benefit or the benefit of, of utilizing the evidence we've discovered out here. And I will put this man on a slow bus to death row because in the end, Jenna, the answer to your question is yes, of course. This is a premeditated murder. It's an unfortunate reality of this business that on occasion you must make a deal with the devil and I made a deal with the devil.